this is the ultimate fixed blade. When you're braving the outdoors, it's about working smarter, not harder. That sentiment is reflected in the knowledge you possess, but also the gear you bring along. The ultimate fixed blade is designed to meet your basic survival needs, food, shelter, and fire. This multi-purpose knife corrals multiple tools into one smart design. The full tang blade has a partially serrated edge to handle a multitude of tasks and materials. Warp isn't an issue, with a fire striking edge that pairs with the included ferrocerium rod. Long haul days call for comfort as well as function. A rubber overmold handle reduces hot spots, lashing holes keep the knife secure, and an emergency whistle could save the day. The sheath not only houses the knife safely, it also includes an integrated sharpener for on-the-go touch-ups. The ferrocerium rod snaps into the sheath until called into action. Take control of your reality in the wild with a tool that is optimized for your survival. It's chock full of features that you can rely on when challenges arise. The ultimate fixed blade isn't just a knife. It's a multifunctional tool that every outdoorsman should keep on hand. Like all Gerber products, the ultimate fixed blade is backed by the For air mode, um, we've put the insect mesh on, the fly sheets on, and to stop the fly sheet wrap, uh, flapping around, we're going to roll up the corners like we do for uh, water mode and then um, secure the corners of the rain fly to the poles so that they don't flap around while we're getting the tree positions correct. Here's the hammock, here's the ratchet and straps. The first thing I'm going to do is lay out the hammock so its corners are pointing towards the three trees that I'm going to use as anchoring points. Uh, thing to make sure that it's facing the right way, you've got the underfloor straps, they should be on the ground side. You've got the tensile logo label, they should be facing up. And um, now we can attach the ratchets to the D-rings. The same like in all tensile tents, you take the ratchet with the loop end, you put the loop strap through the D-ring, and then you just put the, the ratchet buckle through the loop and cinch it tight and you do that to all three corners. So I'm going to take a tree wrap first and I'm going to put it around my tree at the height that I want to do it on. This tree is a little bit lower than the others so I'm going to have to put this one higher than um, expected so that we can even the tent out at around the four foot or 1.2 meter mark. Well, that's the tree wrap. Then you take your strap, go to the end with the loop, pass the loop around the tree, and then put the tail through the loop, pulling it through and pointing it towards the tent. And we do the same to the other two trees. Take the end of your strap, feed it through the spindle of the ratchet, let the ratchet drop and pull out all excess strap before you clasp it with one hand. Give it a little bit of a ratchet while I put the other two in. I'm lifting the unit as we go. What we're aiming for is a straight line between the orange strap and the underfloor straps which run underneath this triple seam here. That is what we're aiming for. Once the trilliums are up in position, it's time to lift the universe up onto that platform. You can do that by placing one corner onto the trillium, walking around the back, lifting, pushing and sliding until the universe is securely on top of that trillium. Reposition so that the corners are aligned, then take a quick link, and secure the D-ring of the universe and the D-ring of the trillium mesh together with the quick link. Repeat for each of the three corners. At the corner of the fly sheets, um, you'll find these clip pegs with C-clip um, ends, and those just simply go onto the handle of the ratchets once we've stopped ratcheting it up and then cinch tight. First thing to do is that same procedure to each corner. 
Once we've done the corners and attached them to the ratchets, we take a peg um, and a length of bungee, attach it again like we do in ground mode to one half of the door and peg that out nice and tightly. Sometimes you'll find that the bungee is too long, so you can just simply double that up and peg that in. Once we've pegged out all the doors, then we're pegging out the halfway points between the corners and the doors. Again, you'll find a bungee loop and a hook. Take a length of bungee, if, double it up if it's too short or too long, and peg it out. Hi everyone, this is SteriPen Classic 3 the updated version of our classic model, the best-selling UV water purifier of all time. Whether you're at a high alpine stream or on a far-flung international adventure with questionable tap water, the 90 seconds it takes to watch this video is all you need to purify a liter of water. This AA battery-powered SteriPen is awesomely effective. The UV light actually changes the DNA of microorganisms in water so they can't reproduce and make you sick. It's the only portable water treatment that's received the Water Quality Association's gold seal certifying that it's effective against over 99.9% .9 of viruses, bacteria, and protozoa. Classic 3 is backed with the SteriPen Premium Lamp Life Pledge. If you use all 8,000 treatments the lamp is designed for, SteriPen will provide you a replacement. Treating your water is a super easy process. First, fill up your water bottle. You'll want to use the included pre-filter if the water is cloudy or has any debris. Next, remove the lamp cover and push the button once to treat a half liter or twice for a full liter. Stick the lamp into the water and stir while the UV light starts destroying all the little critters that can make you sick. Your water is ready to drink as soon as the UV lamp turns off and the green light flashes. It's that easy to treat your water. No pumping, no waiting for chemicals to work, and no foul taste. SteriPen Classic 3 gives you safe water quickly, anywhere, anytime. The Trango Four Season Tent uh, it comes in a two, three, and four person size. This is the uh, three-person size, and this is the size we're gonna talk about today. Uh, the Trango tent is designed for base camp um, on the mountain. Uh, it's full four-season tent design. The Trango tents have been in our line for a long time, and they're classic for mountain hardware. They, it's primarily designed for an extremely strong base camp uh, tent. Uh, the Trango tent uh, has guy-out spots, around the entire perimeter of the tent. Uh, these are placed at about 18 to 24 inches, which is we find is the, is the best location for guying out. There's one on either side, so it allows you to guy out in, in the direction the wind's coming. Also, each guy out spot behind the fly has what we call a direct connect uh, connection so that the fly is actually connected to the pole structure. So if you pull back this fly here, you can see our gated clip uh, clips around a small fabric loop that's on the back side of the fly. The fly is attached to the canopy of the tent with these uh, durable clips. These clips have a ladder lock that allow you to adjust tension. One of the biggest fi uh, feature changes we did on the Trango tent series this season was we uh, changed the front vestibule pole. Instead of it being on the outside of the fly, we put it under the inside of the fly and it fits inside a small sleeve. So this is the canopy of the Trango tent. Uh, the canopy is it's a free standing design. Uh, the canopy is attached to the pole structure with gated clips for every single clip point. One feature the Trango has that's uh, quite nice is it, the tent is a complete symmetrical design, meaning you can have the large front vestibule on the front of the tent, but if for some reason the wind changes direction, you're actually able to take the fly off, flip it around, and have your large vestibule on the rear of the tent. Uh, on the side of the tent, there is a large uh, ceiling vent that allows you to unzip and ventilate the top of the tent. It also allows you to look out the window in the fly. Uh, the front of the tent has a large D-door design uh, with dual sliders. Having the dual sliders allows you to partially open up the door and vent the top if you need. Uh, when the door is fully open, 
You'll see it has a full canopy door as well as a full mesh door. Um, each of the doors rolls away nicely uh, and can be secured with the toggle. Tango tents are uh, extremely spacious inside. They have a really high heat height as well as ample uh, volume on the inside. Uh, this is the three person size. You can fit three large uh, wide mats next to each other. The inside also has a, a large amount of uh, mesh storage pockets uh, for drying wet gear. Trango Tent is a very well loved tent because it's such a, a unique architecture. It has all the bells and whistles. Um, it's extremely comfortable, it has lots of space inside, um, and is extremely durable in all sorts of conditions. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I love setting it up. And